This is a special shoulder workout, a yoga for your shoulders workout. We're going to work on building strength, stability, flexibility. It's going to not only help improve your posture, but also build the foundation for all of those of you who wants to go a bit further in your yoga practice. So whenever you start doing something that's more uh, technical and more intense and more advanced in yoga, you will have the foundations. Let's get ready. You're gonna need a block and a yoga strap. I'm Noko Mabo. If you like what I do, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Let's start uh, sitting up. You can be sitting up. I like to be on my knees, but if you prefer to sit up, you could even be um, standing or sitting on a chair. It's about kind of releasing the shoulders and I'm going to ask you now to let go of your shoulders, I invite you to close your eyes and just notice how your neck, your upper back, your shoulders are feeling. Let's take a deep breath into the nose and out again and out, blinking the eyes open. We're going to come back to this slow breath whenever we feel burning in the shoulders, we feel tired, we want to give up, we come back to this breath. So um, let's start by squeezing the shoulders up and drop. Squeeze up and drop. Again, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and drop. One more. Let's warm up the shoulder joints, hands on the shoulders. We start by making circles with the elbows. Imagine you are drawing small circles with the elbows. And you want to pay close attention to how your shoulders are feeling. You may start noticing that they feel different. One feels different from the other. And then slowly making the circles bigger. And if you get to a place where you hear a click or a discomfort, you slow down and breathing to it. It's the good time to reconnect with the breath, inhaling slowly, exhaling slowly. See if you can bring your elbows together in front of you and close to the ears and up to the, towards the ceiling, opening towards the back without pushing the chest forward, only the elbows moving backwards and down and back, pointing down, coming together, up, opening up, keep going slowly, drawing big circles with the elbows. Let's reverse the circles. And throughout the whole practice, at any time you feel dizzy, it means you need to stop and breathe. Or if you feel shoulders are burning, that's okay. Body's shaking, muscles are shaking, it's okay. But if you feel discomfort, lightheadedness, dizziness, it means you have to stop and breathe. All right, let's... Um, Start the block, so we're going to be either sitting up, if you're not comfortable sitting up, you can sit on a block on a pillow, or again, you can be on your knees. We're going to start by extending the arms, squeezing the block. Imagine you want to press the block in, and you're going to feel actually your chest muscle working here. And you keep pressing, going slowly up and down. Again, you can be standing, can be sitting on a chair. I like to be on my knees. Keep pressing in. So we are warming up the muscles here, of the whole joint, so shoulders, but also the chest. Hold it up. Here, we drop the blood, but we squeeze the elbows underneath the chin and straight up above the head and down squeezing the elbow squeezing the hands towards one another and up, and down 
elbows don't have to touch. And up. Let's do it for five. You may start feeling the burn. For four. Keep breathing. For three. Two left. Come on, you can do it. Squeeze those elbows. All right. Shaking the shoulders. So we work mainly the front of the deltoid. The deltoid has three heads. There's the front, lateral, and back. Let's open the arms sideways, making small circles. Again, you can stand, you can sit on a chair, on the floor. You may start feeling your shoulders burning a little bit. Reverse, making circles a bit bigger. Keep breathing. And those exercises, you can do them, um, let's say if you're watching TV, if you're zooming, <laughs> you can do those exercises. A bit bigger circles, going backwards. Hold it here. Push the heels of the hands out. And flex here, palms in and out. And in, and out, again, and shake the shoulders. All right, now we're going to do some protractions. So, one shoulder at a time first. From here, you want to pull your shoulder in, and then push it forward. In and out. Chest, spine are not moving. Just shoulder. Let's try the other hand. So we're going to do the same exercise facing down. So on our hands and knees. This really helps with your um, downward facing dog. Every, every position in yoga where you have your hands on the floor. Both hands here. So imagine you have the floor here. Okay. So the floor is right here. So we do in and out. In in. And out. 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 All right. Now that you have this movement, you notice that we keep the elbows extended. Same thing here. Fingers spread out, belly lifted, a long neck so we don't want to drop or arch, gazing towards the front of the mat. And now uh, we sink in with the chest, and up, and in, and up, and drop. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it right there. Let's hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep holding as you're holding. Notice your elbows. Are they hyperextended with the elbow, the crease of the elbow pointing front? If so, make sure you rotate the elbows so that they face outside of your mat. Let's hold for 4, for 3, for 2, for 1. Slowly placing the knees down. And we're going to place the block. If you don't have a block, uh, use a book. A book is fine too. And what we want to do is squeeze the block with the elbows, palm of the hands flat if it's uncomfortable on your wrist, and you need to interlace the fingers, that's fine too. And we're going to go into a plank, elbow plank, and squeeze those elbows. Belly lifted. Let's hold for 10. For nine. We want to avoid sinking into the shoulders, so we press the elbows towards the earth. Six, five, four, three, two, one. From here, we bring the hips up, shoulders back, and back down to center. And up, and down. Keep breathing. If your shoulders are burning, that's okay. It means that the muscles are working. You're building strength. Keep squeezing this block. Let's do four more. Three. 
two. Hold it back here. Keep the chest back as you walk the feet forward. For ten. For nine. So this really is going to help not only strengthen your shoulders, stabilize the shoulder joint, making it stronger and less prone to injuries. But for those of you who are going deeper into your yoga practice, it's going to help with all your inversions. And down, child pose. In our child pose, what we want to do is lift the elbows, lift the wrist, and press the chest down. So we're stretching the shoulders right here. And we can sway side to side a little bit. Okay, nice. Back on all fours. Let me show you first. So we're going to do the same thing we did. Elbows the width of the block. Hands flat on the floor. So we started into a plank. What we're going to do now, same thing. We push the chest back. Now we're going to keep this chest back as we walk the feet forward. Avoid this. Watch the shoulders moving forward. We don't want that. Okay? We want the shoulders back right here okay let's do it together let's get on all fours forearms onto the mat as uh, wide as the block or less or no more i would say so you can still use your block let's get into a plank and from here we push the shoulders back tailbone up and we start walking the feet forward hold it here And lift the heels and down and lift and down five four three two one knees down right here we're gonna stretch those shoulders with or without the strap let me show you with the strap so we're gonna place the head down and with your strap, or no straps, so with the strap, bringing the arms up and wrist down towards the mat. Or without, you can interlace your fingers and right here. Finding your breath. Slowly releasing the arms, hands onto the floor. Nice. Let's go a bit deeper into our stretch for the shoulders. So we're going to be on our heels. If, if this is uncomfortable, you can place one block, two blocks, even pillows to elevate the hips. So you can go even higher if it's more comfortable. And we're going to start in the center of the mat, palm of the hand against the wall, take a deep breath in. As we exhale, we start crawling the fingers up. And notice when you start either rotating the chest out or to the side, it means that you're getting to your limit. You want to keep your center centered. Okay, so right here, I feel that I can still go a bit further, a little bit further back, and now I notice that I'm turning a little bit so that's kind of my limit okay so right here and we're gonna hold it right here without pushing the chest forward deep breath in and out and breathing in and out again Let's see if we can go a bit closer to the wall. And then walking the fingers forward. Let's switch sides. Starting in the center of the mat. Keeping the shoulders square, spine centered, 
It's not about walking, crawling those fingers up. And you may notice one shoulder is different from the other. I dislocated my left shoulder at least three times, so I can feel it right here. And if you feel that you start twisting the chest, bring your chest back, maybe that's your limit. Should be slightly challenging, should not be painful. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. And the next exhale, we're gonna scoop towards the wall. Big breath in, exhaling, let's scoop. Breathing in and out and in and out. Nice. Let's crawl those fingers back down. Okay, the next one that we're going to do, we can be on our knees or wait, let's sit down actually. And we're going to twist and then we're going to see if we can place our hand behind and around basically the spine and grabbing the opposite thigh. So what we're going to do is hold our strap, okay, so with this hand. So let's start by placing one hand on the opposite knee. And this hand goes behind and maybe it's right here. You can bend the elbow. Okay, we twist first. And then we hold the twist and with the other hand, let's see if we can pull forward. If you can grab the wrist, you can pull the wrist forward. And then you can bring your chest back to center. And maybe it doesn't go all the way across. Maybe it's right here. Pull straight out. Okay. Let me show you from the back. So if I'm stuck here, I use the other hand, and, and I'm going to pull to the side. And maybe afterwards we can go around. And take a deep breath in and out. And one more. Very slowly releasing. Other side. Same thing, we're going to twist first, twist the spine. And maybe your hands can go all around the cross right away. Or maybe you hold the strap and pull sideways. And when you reach your limit, come back center with the torso, keep pulling. Or go across. And breathing in and out. Two more. And the last one. And slowly, really. Shaking the shoulders, grabbing the strap, wide stance here. Earlier we had the block, remember we started with the block and asked you to squeeze in. We're doing the opposite, we're going to pull apart, so we're strengthening the back head of the deltoid muscle here. So pull apart, hold it right here. Slowly down as we inhale. We keep pulling the whole time. Exhaling, we come up. Inhaling down. Keep pulling apart. Exhaling up. Pull, 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 pull. A few more. Let's do three more. Let's go for two more. One more. And from here, I'm going to widen the stance, wider than your shoulders. Inhaling, exhaling, coming up. So we're not pulling this time. We're just going up and down. We want to increase the range of motion. So we're stretching. 
and as we come up and we try to go back, sometimes we push the chest forward. It's not the arms going back, it's just the chest going forward. So what we want to do is keep the center centered. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Let's get a smaller stance, stand this a little bit, a, a smaller grip, grip a bit narrower. Coming up here, and from here, bending the top elbow, bring this other hand behind the spine and pulling down. And as you notice, I'm gazing down because it's more comfortable on my top shoulder. If I want to go deep into the stretch, I bring my head up. And maybe your top elbow is behind your head, or maybe it's next to your head. So if it's next to your head, see if you can bring it towards the back of the head. Slowly coming back up, inhale. Exhale, other side, same thing. Gazing straight up. Slowly releasing. All right, so from here, we're just gonna go do circles in front. Let's go now, these circles in front of us. Okay, right here. Then we're gonna do them behind the head. So from here, going behind you. And other side. And other side. And releasing, stretching the neck. Let's close our eyes and notice how your shoulders are feeling compared to when you start the class. You should feel much more relaxed and warm and loose. Other side. I'm gonna do one more stretch. So we're going to cross the elbows and grab the shoulders. Let's see if we can crawl the hands behind. So here I'm grabbing my shoulder blades. And maybe your hands are not going all the way. Maybe they're going right here. That's fine. Wherever they are, going to see if you can lift your elbows a little bit. And gaze up. Hold it there. Slowly down. Other side. Last exercise. Lifting the elbows. Gazing slightly up. Back to center. So keep doing this video. We did a lot of things that are going to help you to build the foundations for yoga. Um, you'll be much more secure even in your downward facing dog or any inversions. You'll be so much stronger with much more control and also safer. You'll protect your shoulders. Until next time, namaste.